What's up, gamers, geeks, and gadget hounds? Elric here, once again, the Tech of Tomorrow channel, where we're all tech all the time. Now, a lot of you guys ask in the videos, like, what happened to your Red Dawn system? Did you lose it? Did you sell it? Did it get sucked up by the evil people at motherboards.org? No, it did not. For one thing, all of the equipment that you've ever seen anywhere on video is all mine, because this is my shiznik. It's a stupid legal battle, but this shit is my shit, and it's mine, and you see it in my videos. Now, moving forward with that, I got the system back here behind me, and we've totally retooled the cooling on it. We'll be bringing you a video on that, but you guys have really said, hey, why aren't you ever showing us any gameplay or any numbers or nothing? So, ah, so, okay, so we've got it back here. I've got two 680s and SLI, 2560 by 1600 on my great monitor back here, the Dell 30-inch, you guys know that bad boy. Now, I've got everything set to its maximum, and I never really dropped below 60 frames per second at all in Max Payne 3. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out some Max Payne 3 action on the Red Dawn Extreme. <laughs> I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. Uh. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. Now, when we edit the video, unfortunately, it does kill showing the frame rates, but this thing rocked through the entire thing. I will shoot an over the head video. Plus, let me know what you guys think because last time I did a poll on this, it kind of got a little bit confusing about what people's answers are. Do you guys prefer me to do a video like this or do you want me to have Jesus shooting behind me filming the actual gameplay. Tell me what you want and I'll do it that way. I do it this way because I think it looks a lot cleaner. But anyways, I never dropped below 60 frames per second and I was at 2560 by 1600. Now, another question you guys ask is why don't we upload the video in those specs? Well, we can't because in the camera that we're filming at, it doesn't allow that. So I can't film me at 2560 by 1600. So therefore I can't bring it to you on video. So we film at 1080p. So everything gets cut down to 1080p. So you guys can see it. Let me know your opinions. Hit that like button. You know, it's the 12 days of Christmas and I'm giving my love to you. So show me that love back by hitting that like button. Now check this out. Got a winner. Sergio Croissant from Romania. That's right. He's by where the vampires are in Transylvania. You are the winner of the 12 days of Christmas. People, do it once again. You guys did it before. Make sure you guys contact this guy. Leave a message on his page. Let him know that he has won. All of the information will be in the description below so you guys will know what to do because we want to give him his prize. The last few people have been very, very happy. Been given out some Crisis 2 Maximum edition copies those people are liking and playing that shit so make sure you're subscribed that way you're in and hey merry christmas to you guys it's almost upon us got more videos coming up see you later